Hey everyone, Jason Shadrick here with PremierGuitar.com, and today we're going to take an exclusive first look at Roland's new Cube 80 GX amplifier. So let's check it out. So the Cube 80 GX is an 80 watt combo amp with a 12 inch custom designed speaker. It has three channels, clean, lead, and solo, and offers a variety of effects from chorus and flange, tremolo and octave, to also delay and reverb. So next I'll walk you through kind of the controls and the, and the top panel of, of the Roland amp here. On the left here we have the input obviously for your guitar. We also have an iCube link which allows you to plug in an MP3 player, also work with Roland's, uh, Roland's smartphone app that allows you to record and, and play along the backing tracks. The next row here chooses uh, what mode or channel we're in. Uh, you can be in the clean channel the lead channel or the solo. And the solo channel is kind of like a saved preset that's also, uh, at, you're able to access it with a foot switch as well. Along the top here, all the channels sh kind of share this top row. Of course, we have the EQ, the three band EQ with bass, middle, and treb, uh, presence knob, and then we have the effects over here. On this knob, controls chorus, flanger, phaser, tremolo, and then a heavy octave setting. The next knob, uh, goes between a warm or a clear uh, delay, and this adjusts uh, the, the feedback of it as well, and s reverb uh, works between a spring and a plate reverb. We also have a tap tempo here for the delay. Below that we have the two different, the two main channels, the controls for each individual channel. On the left side here we have the JC Clean, which is again based on the Roland JC120, have a bright switch and a volume for that, uh, a tuner, and then over here for the lead section, we have all the different types of amps that you're able to access between black panel, deluxe combo, and tweed to the, the higher gain classic metal, R Fire, uh, Extreme, and then the Dyna amp, which is their touch response uh, amp. We have gain and volume for the lead, and then an overall master volume that also works on both channels. Around the back, we have two inputs for different types of foot switches, and also a line out and a recording out, also used for headphones. So the first sound we're going to look at is the clean channel, the JC Clean setting, which is modeled after Roland's famous JC120 amps. The controls for the clean setting, you have uh, an overall volume and also a bright switch. So right now we have the volume set at about 12 o'clock and the bright switch off. <laughs> Next, I will hit the bright switch to hear how that sounds. So now we're going to move over to the lead channel. Now the lead channel is where all the different type of amp modeling kind of comes in. Uh, the first one we're going to start with is an acoustic simulator. Next sound we're going to look at on lead channel is based on a deluxe combo and for this setting I have the gain and volume both about halfway up. Now we're going to move into the more higher gain settings on this amp and add in a, a little bit of delay in addition to the reverb we've been hearing before. So there's a section on the knob that has stack type tones and this first one is named Classic. <laughs> Now 
All right, the next sound we're going to look at, uh, still in the stack section of tones. This one's called R Fire, kind of a little bit of a more scooped, uh, more modern high gain sound. <laughs> The final sound we're going to look at in the lead section uh, is, is what Rolling is called the Dyna Amp, which is a real dynamic sound that responds to how hard and the dynamics of your picking. So first I'm going to pick very, very lightly, it'll be a clean sound, and without touching anything on the, the amp, I'll start to pick harder and you can kind of hear the difference in how the gain changes. <laughs> The clean channel, the JC Clean, I'm going to walk you through some of the effects that come with it. The first one we're going to listen to is Chorus. Next up, uh, we're going to check out the flanger. I got the flanger set about halfway. Lastly, we'll take a look at the heavy octave setting on the effects knob. Finally, we'll take a look at the delay setting. I have the delay set for a nice kind of rockabilly-ish slapback echo. <laughs> So that's the brand new Roland Cube GX. To read the review, head on over to premierguitar.com or just click the link below.